Welcome everybody to a brand new season of In Car at Round uh, 1, uh, so this is Round 1 2022 and we're off and running and we're starting last, so um, three, ro- three wide down the front straight, always uh, a little bit tricky, we're going to try and stick to the inside here, now um, conditions today very very tricky as we're going to see the guy on the right just um, nudges into the back of uh, the guy in the middle there uh, unfortunately for him turns him round we just about managed to avoid that so uh, an interesting start we're up um, uh, around about I think sort of five positions something like that so we started 15th at the back um, again the guy in front uh, just nudges into the back of Toby and that ruins his uh, momentum so we're going to um, go up the inside as well and try and take advantage of that um, so nearing the end of the first lap now and um, yeah, not a bad return I can't remember how many um, places we've gone up um, but I think now at the end of the first lap we are around about um, seven for something like that or six maybe so going into turn one now turn one is an interesting prospect and I'll, I'll show you why uh, a little bit later on today but the race has settled down now and uh, so it, it's not going to be so easy to make up ground from here so how many are there in front one two three four five six I think I'm, I'm sixth at the moment so yeah not a bad return um, making uh, making the most of sticking to the inside line there um, a little bit to seem that there was less grip on the outside of turn one uh, and it's now just about trying to keep um, uh, keep some uh, uh, consistent lap times that's the word consistent lap times um, so that we can hopefully um, uh, maintain or, or, or develop a little bit of a gap and you can see that the two in front going into turn one they're having a bit of a fight um, so um, so that's going to be good news for us as the two in front of us are also having a bit of a fight and you can see they're um, s- squeezing really really narrow and that really helps us um, gain some momentum and we're up another place so a uh, really nice demonstration there of uh, yeah how easy it is to lose a whole bag full of time if you are um, if you're fighting with someone um, so uh, you know um, having just seen that you would have thought, wouldn't you, that I'm going to um, learn my lesson, uh, and uh, <laughs> of course I'm not. So um, you know, just going a little bit defensive here. Um, I'm going to see. I'm going to be a little bit greedy here. So I'm going to see if I can have another place, help myself to fourth spot um, as well. Our first yellow flag of the race. Um, now this is actually. Um, I think the reason is just on the left-hand side here. You'll see our first stoppage. So very unfortunate for that guy. We've had a, a cart failure. So I'm going to skip it forward. We were actually um, three laps behind. And as I just uh, bump into Josh Ladd there, who um, is going to let back through. Apologies to him for that little uh, miscalculation. Yeah, we were actually behind that um, full course yellows for about three laps there. Um, so tyres really really cold again um, and at this point I'm going to send it I'm going to go up the inside now I'm a heavyweight um, he's a lightweight so I think my tyres have just warmed up a little bit quicker but as you can see by doing that ruining our exit we've just lost another position so just like earlier when I took advantage of these guys fighting um, I've now um, I've now uh, sort of lost that position again through uh, nothing more than ill discipline be very disciplined when you're when you're karting and uh, obviously I don't have that much discipline as we close up on the brakes um, again we're pretty good on the brakes into turn four but you know, when you carry that little bit too much speed in you can see that those guys just get on the power a little bit earlier and um, and, uh, and just uh, they're, they're able to drive off um, into uh, in, in the exit um, I mentioned earlier that I'm a heavyweight um, these guys are lightweights I think at this point that I'm the top heavyweight um, so uh, in, in this uh, round so far in this race so far so as the driver on the left just goes a little bit wide and you see there really not very much grip on the um, on the outside of turn one there so uh, you know something to something to be considering and something to to be looking out for um, yeah um, not much uh, yeah sorry um, weight categories uh, slightly different from last year as the driver um, behind just goes for another move he wasn't quite alongside and uh, just just got into the into the side of us there a little bit like what I did to Josh Ladd up front um, uh, just a, a couple of laps ago so we retain the position um, 
yeah, weight categories, so I will make this point now. Um, slightly different from last year. Last year, to be a heavyweight, you had to be 80 kilograms or higher. This year, um, it's 90 kilograms or higher, so that means I'm carrying 10 kilograms of, of ballast. And that's, um, that's quite a lot, that's, uh, that's you know, a significant change to how the, uh, the car's gonna handle. And um, I was actually a little bit worried about that because as I said, I think in the, in the past and previous videos, when you carry a lot of ballast, it, it is very, very different um, in, in what the cart handles very differently. And um, all the practice that you've done using your own body weight um, it is almost sort of null and void now because um, you're, you're dealing with a totally different animal. Uh, so uh, I was a little bit worried about that, I have to say, but I'm, I've really been working on um, uh, on uh, some of the issues as we um, we cross the line for a P5, not bad. I've been working, um, and I'll come back to this point in a minute as we roll up to, to heat two. So we started last first time, we started first this time. Justin goes um, on the left there, just goes a little bit early. Um, and, um, and watch this. Um, Oh, boom. Oh, and we're, we're gonna, I'm gonna slow it down. I just don't know what happened here. All of a sudden, I know it did start to drizzle slightly, but you can see from the, um, it's a, quite a conservative braking zone, um, that I, or braking position that I chose, um, turning in and all of a sudden the rear snaps and it, it's not just a, a sort of a snap because we're off the brake again here. It's like literally the rear floated. Um, and I'm just trying my absolute best. Once you get on this stuff, there's absolutely no chance you are getting straight to the, the scene of the accident. And this was a heavy hit, um, you know, sort of about uh, 25, 23 miles an hour. I actually smashed my head onto the um, uh, onto the, the barrier there. I couldn't keep myself in the cart, so I'm quite bruised today, actually. I'm just, um, uh, as a couple of other people join, uh, join the accident there. I managed to get myself out. Um, but we are now absolute dead last. Dead last, um, just following these guys around. So absolute disaster. Um, you know, it, it, it's my aim and sort of dream to, short term dream, dream's a bit of a, uh, you know, having it up a bit here, aren't I? But uh, you know, I'd, I'd really, really love to win a championship, um, you know, so um, that sort, of, <laughs> that sort of thing, ending up in the barrier is, is really problematic. Now, um, this is the issue sometimes, isn't it? Because when you're the first person into turn one, as we're dealing now with some um, muddy tires, and uh, you, know, you can see we're, we're picking up quite a lot of, um, uh, you know, quite a lot of slide. Um, when you're dealing with some very, um, sorry, when you're going into turn one first, um, at the start of the race, obviously you don't know how much grip there is. And we go in slightly more conservatively to turn one this time, but I, I, I think you can see here, we're still doing very much dry times, dry lines, as we go up the inside of Toby here, um, taking a little bit um, more speed on the way in, but of course that's gonna compromise us slightly. He comes back, um, but we're gonna do this guy up on the inside here as well. Um, just snatch all of the room on the exit. When you go into turn one first, you don't know how much grip there is. Um, obviously when you go in last, you can see other people either binning it or, or not. So we're up two places. There's another guy who's just gone into the pits there. I'm not sure why. Um, I don't know if he had a problem with his car or if he had been a bit of a naughty boy and got black flagged or something. Oh no, he, he wouldn't have been black flagged actually because there are no black flags in this championship now. There's only grid drops and, um, and penalties. But again, into turn one, and you can see here, you know, it, it's kind of normal, normal speed of entry, normal line. There isn't as much grip. You can see on the camera that there is a little bit of, um, uh, you know, sort of sp uh, yeah, spitting and, and everything. Um, it's a little bit greasy, but I, I still, the only thing I can think is that perhaps there was a little bit of oil or, or something like that because the rear absolutely snapped away and, and I was pumping the brake pedal. So by that, I mean, I was you know, foot off the brake to, to unlock the rear axle, so hopefully it would grip. Um, and you could see that when, um, you know, when I was able to um, unlock the steering slightly, the, the, the rear axle did start rotating again. Um, and then it, yeah, and and then it gripped, but I just ran out of road and, and hit that barrier pretty hard. The other thing I should mention, you probably can't hear it, but my visor, because I, I hit my head on the, um, on the tire wall, uh, my visor, or half of the left-hand side of my visor actually came, came off um, my helmet, so it actually ripped off 
my helmet. So um, I'm actually really lucky not to be pulled in um, on, I, I guess it was safety grounds. I don't think I, it was a, a kind of a safety issue at all, realistically, otherwise I would have bought it in myself. But um, the, uh, yeah, the, the visor was just moving slightly. So it wasn't really a safety issue, just a little bit annoying. Um, but uh, yeah, it just goes to, goes to demonstrate that it was a fair old whack. I've got a, got a few few bruises today, um, but never mind. Um, it's always, um, in a way, it's kind of like yeah, a little bit more fun to start um, sort of towards the back, actually, isn't it? And, um, and then fight through. And again, as we go up for um, for a lunge up the the inside uh, of turn three, that's actually it's not typically a, a particularly good overtaking spot because it's not a huge braking zone and. If you do that, then quite often you get mugged coming out because you've got the infield straight there and it's really important to keep the revs up. And actually on that point, um, just at the start of this race, I was starting to talk to you about um, kind of where I felt that I needed to improve from last season. So this is my second round, second, sorry, second season in, uh, in the Inkart series at Sandown Park. Um, and um, last season I recorded all my races, put them up to YouTube. Thank you very much, by the way, to everyone who's liked and subscribed and written comments. It's uh, really, really motivational. And um, yeah, a lot of the point of this is to, to build a little karting community. You know, I'm, I was asked if I wanted to be an influencer by one of my friends. No, is the answer. <laughs> I don't think there's enough people um, passionate about karting to achieve that. Um, and actually that's not what I want anyway. I just want to, um, you know, meet some like-minded people and, uh, you know, um, do some races together and build a little community. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for all of the support so far. It does mean a lot and, and uh, you know, continue to, to do so. It keeps me motivated. Uh, um, but anyway, um, like I was saying, the, I, I was also uh, recording these races so that I could see where I was fast and where I was slow. And I come to the conclusion that last season, um, where I finished second in the championship, uh, Jacob Owen won. Um, he was uh, he, he was very very quick. He did a really great job last year. Disappointed not to see Jacob back here, um, so we can have some race. We had a, a, a couple of really really excellent battles last season. So uh, you know, hopefully, if Jacob's seeing this or watching it, um, yeah, we can we can do some racing again in the future. Uh, but um, yeah, um, bit too much speed in losing it on the exit is um, my um, my analysis of my performances last year and I think that on this layout the normal layout you can sort of get away with it a little bit but when we do the alternate layout which is the next race um, I think you get punished way more uh, for uh, for taking too much speed in and not enough speed on the way out so um, that's what I'm practicing here um, and um, it's interesting isn't it because when we were racing those lightweights in heat one you could see that they were inching away in the um in, in the kind of particularly in the infield straight and the, the main straight um but they weren't exactly disappearing like um like like some of the lightweights were doing last year and again that that's interesting because now i'm carrying 10 kilograms of ballast you would have thought um that um that that, that they'd be disappearing off down the straights even more quickly uh, than they previously were, but uh, didn't really appear to be the case as we've got another yellow flag. Um, I think perhaps some of the, the reason is that when, when it's cold, when it's grisly, when it's greasy, when it's damp, heavier drivers do have a little bit more in the way, uh, and we've got another driver in the wall there, um, do have a little bit more in the way of uh, um, grip. And I think uh, perhaps my corner speed, as I say, that bag full of oversteer uh, in the entry to turn three. Um, uh, yeah, um, I think the um, potential is this guy here, he get, gets it a little bit wrong. He knows it, we're going to punish him up the inside. So it just to demonstrates, doesn't it? As soon as you get a slide on um, with these D-Max cars, and we've got another guy in the barrier here as well. So actually, you know, we're, we're, we're climbing up positions. I believe now we are in P7, okay, up from from uh, P15, which is not too bad considering we were dead last at the, um, uh, well, after turn one. Um, so uh, we'll see if we can do anything else. There's a guy going a little bit slow. I think he's got his line wrong there, isn't he? Um, just on the exit of one. We know, um, I think it was Toby who, who was in the wall there. Um, we know, don't we, uh, from my experience and from some of the other guys um, who have got it wrong into turn one in this second heat that is very easy to uh, to do that and um, 
yeah, uh, we're going to see it. So we we must be in P8 now, I think, um, because I think this this is the, the move for P7. You have to go on the um, have to go on the curb to get past, and there's no grip on that curb at all. It just skated me straight off towards the barrier. So uh, this guy in the red goes back past again. Good racing from him. Um, now this guy is a heavyweight, so it's important that we do make the move here. Um, he goes defensive on the way in, that's the right thing to do, that's what he should do. I'm going to go um, a little bit wider, um, and actually, yeah, there you go, a huge snap of oversteer. Um, quite lucky to, to not lose it, quite lucky not to, um, uh, not to, not to hit him as well. Um, but we're just going to think about a move up into to turn four. You know, turn four is, if you've got confidence in the brake pedal, you can make loads of time up here lucky that he didn't squeeze us into the barrier there very fair racing from him but the left turns into a right and um, by taking all the room on the exit we managed to uh, capitalize getting it wrong into turn six uh, actually does uh, uh, put us under a little bit of pressure but fortunately uh, we're just far enough ahead and that was actually an important move uh, because uh, we are um, we have just hit the, the chequered flag. So um, all of this means that we're starting P5 in um, in the final. It was a, a fifth place and a seventh place. Um, surrounded by lightweights, we've got Justin Hammond, who is a, a rival for the, the heavyweight championship on the left-hand side. Again, very brave, um, but doesn't unfortunately quite work out. We're up into fourth place here, um, just I think by virtue of having the inside line, which is of course quite important. We're just gonna go slightly um, uh, slightly defensive. We don't want anyone throwing it up the inside. We get a tap from the rear. We tap Tom Brown up ahead, but I think that actually benefits him. Uh, he goes up into to P2 overall, but just loses it um, on the exit slightly. And we've got someone going all the way around the outside. These guys um, rub bumpers, um, and uh, and Tom has the the inside line. But this other guy's going all the way around the outside. A squeeze into the barrier. Great racing um, from uh, from these two. It's a bit of a problem in that uh, you can see uh, the leader, that's Philip Abulao, he has just disappeared. And, and the issue we have is not necessarily get, <coughs> excuse me, getting in front of these guys because they are, like I say, both lightweight drivers. We're not in the same championship. Don't really need to be fighting them. I'm, I'm happy enough to sit behind them, but the problem is as they are fighting, um, we are actually getting um, backed up into the rest of the field. So you can see here, um, because they're slowing each other down, they're, by, you know, uh, they're also then slowing, slowing me down as well. And you can see there, by not being able to get onto the, um, the power early enough, we lose a place. Again, it, we lose a place to a lightweight driver, but not ideal. Um, now, I'm not entirely sure of the points system. Last year, in, um, in um, Super Champs, you got points. Um, for your overall position. Okay, so we are overall P5 here. Um, yeah, yeah, we're overall P5. Um, so, um, you know, I'd, I'd be the top heavyweight driver, but also I'd be losing points because these guys um, are in front of me and uh, Josh Ladd gets um, uh, the, the same, uh, same issue that I had a, a lap or two ago. Um, it was very fair though, he didn't, um, didn't stop me from, uh, you know, he didn't push me into the barrier, uh, just able to capitalise there as he got um, kind of, uh, had, had an issue with, um, with running into these guys who were fighting. So yeah, um, it, it's important to know actually, isn't it, if we are um, going to be some of the, uh, the people who are, or if we're getting points for overall position or if we're getting points uh, just for our positions in our relative championships because if we don't know that then um, you know, we, we don't know whether to fight these guys or not. So all I'm going to do um, is just try and stick with these guys. I'm not going to make any ridiculous moves um, because at the moment we are leading the uh, heavyweights and uh, there's, there's really no need to be getting into needless and, and silly battles but if it's going to cost points then it would be I think quite a good idea to um, you know to try and finish as far up the field as um, as possible uh, and particularly I think I mentioned earlier in these sorts of conditions you know if it was really hot I don't think I'd have a chance against some of these lightweights we're weighing in at, at 90 kilograms um, some of these lightweights are, are 70 uh, I'm not like 75 actually um, so uh, you know a, a considerable difference as well a uh, yellow flag here so we um, yeah, just important that we don't uh, we don't make any kind of um, major uh, 
um, increases or decreases in, in gap between Tom and myself up ahead. Now I thought that that, because there was a, a breakdown, I thought there was going to be a, a full course caution, so I wasn't really on the power early enough on, um, on the exit there, so we lose a little bit of time. Um, but it is a it is a breakdown. You can see here we've got a red flag. So um, I just moved it on. Um, it took a little while, actually, whilst um, we were um, waiting for, for the red flag to um, to be recovered. My battery in my car then died as well. So I cost everyone a load more um, a load more time. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure if there was some mistake, but they moved me in front of Tom Brown. Um, who was one of the guys who was racing up ahead. The other guy didn't see the red flag in time and just um, carried on going. So he ended up um, getting a huge advantage actually, um, which, uh, yeah, obviously a bit of a shame, I think, for Tom because Tom could, could have potentially um, got a second, uh, second place there. But, um, you know, one of those things, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if there's some kind of mistake, but, uh, but yeah, they moved me in front of Tom. So Tom Brown is, is right behind me now. Um, but again, um, just like me, he knows that we're not in the same championship. We're, we're battling for, for different championships, so not absolutely um, essential to, to be, um, you know, fighting this um, uh, this battle too much. Now, um, at various points, I can feel that he's right behind me, and um, you know, I, I sort of um, suggest that he goes through and, and, uh, and try and point him through. But actually, he was um, uh, he was very very fair about it. He said that he didn't want to, to risk. Um, in, on this wet, dry tramp track with uh, lots of lots of wet patches, he didn't want to risk um, kind of uh, going offline, getting it wrong, and then and then taking us both out. So you know, again, very respectful and, and fair racing. This is what I really like about, um, you know, the, particularly the D-Max Championship here at Sandown Park. You know, you've got a lot of drivers who are doing it for the love of doing it, and um, and, and very very respectful. There's really not a lot of people. Um, Kind of, uh, yeah, just who will go out and, and drive dirty. You know, of course, there's the occasional error, um, and that's just part of racing. But generally speaking, you know, the quality of the racing is, is very, very good. And I think you've seen a lot of that today, in particularly difficult conditions. Uh, you've seen some very respectful, hard, fair, um, but well fought racing. So, uh, you know, that's what I really enjoy. Uh, about coming down here. Uh, in fact, the <laughs> the worst racing you've seen has been by yours truly sticking it in the barrier in turn one. So uh, you know. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'll try not to. Uh, <laughs> I suppose if I, if I want to do a little bit more um, uh, more uh, more videos, um, I suppose crashing hard would be uh, yeah, quite a good thing to do. Um, I mentioned earlier, actually, I'm um, trying to improve. Um, Sort of exit speeds and things like that and, and one thing that I saw I saw a video with Jimmy Broadbent now um, I'm not sure if anyone's seen his stuff but he's quite a famous youtuber and particularly he's a sim racer and he talks about um, and there's Tom actually um, I'm just sort of suggesting that he goes through I'm trying to give him some room there but he backs out he, he chooses not to go through um, but um, yeah Jimmy Broadbent's talking about scrubbing off speed using the, uh, the steering so I just tried doing that uh, a little bit there as well but there we are um, we finished now um, uh, it was a p1 in class uh, so um, that's me in the middle really pleased um, congratulations to Justin as well on the right hand side um, great result for him thanks very much for watching see you on the next one